Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to assemble a uh, rack and pinion uh, model inside space claim. We have taken this particular model from GrabCAD in the form of step file. So let's go to space claim, open the step file. So this is how it is loaded. Let's make it look this way. Okay. Fine. Uh, let's hide this part for some time. If you can see, this is our uh, pinion and this is the rack okay so we'll define one comp uh, one uh, constant at a time so there's a revolute constant between uh, this base and the rack i mean pinion so to do that we select align and we need to select the cylindrical surface we do mouse scroll till we get the cylindrical surface since this is magenta in color this matches the uh, that of the pinion so we do the s green one so that is how we have one align condition this is a cylindrical in nature to so one cylindrical and one planar would result in a revolute joint so for that we use a tangent condition between this face of the pinion and this face of the base so if we rotate this about this axis it would actually move we would also require a cylindrical motion so for that click on align select this cylinder and uh, this one okay and we would also require one more constraint here so that it translates actually not have relative rotation so we select this set of faces and this and then do orient so that would basically make it zero degrees okay so this part is done now let's hide this base for time being so we need to find the pitch circle of this pinion as well as the uh, surface on the rack that is matching uh, mating it how do we do that is we need to do some math here uh, the distance traveled by the common surface between these two so basically we would have a circle here and a tangential line in this direction and the distance traveled between one tooth here should be the same as that traversed here okay so let's do that using measure we can select any set of point we'll select this and this so it says 19.9491 that is the distance between uh, that is the distance between two teeth here so our pitch circle see as you can see this is parallel all the lines are parallel so the distance between say this point and corresponding point here would also be the same so we just need to find out the pitch diameter of the pinion so how do we do that is we can uh, okay how many teeth we have here if we start counting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 into 2 we just don't consider this so we have 12 number of teeth and uh, so basically our equation would be in this form our circle is here and the diameter of this circle is actually 12 is the number of teeth okay into the uh, distance between the rack teeth that is 19.9491 divided by pi 3.1412 so we have pitch center pitch circle of the pinion once this is done we need to create another line 
that is tangential to this circle so click on this tangent line and uh, select this circle and draw a line that is parallel to rack surface ok so this is done so we have the mating circle as well as the line so select this circle first and then the line ok I, I need to control select actually select this again let's try select select right click construction on off so once that is done we go to the 3d model view and we need to pull it to arbitrary length ok so we have these surfaces created at uh, root level we need to move them to component level so we move it here so that these two are together move this this side so that these two are together so we, if you want we can hide these surfaces as well ok now uh, we need to define rack and pinion assembly uh, constraints that is done by selecting the cylinder and then the surface planar surface and click on gear ok so that's it we have done with it we can hide the surfaces these are construction and they don't add up to the mass of the component and uh, we have some construction line we can remove that we can enable this and set its transparency okay so we will have to move our component now move the component select the rotation axis as center of this let's start moving it so this is how you can achieve a uh, rack and pinion motion ok since this slight problem we would have to make this as grounded so we select this and make it as anchor ok now uh, let's see what SE motion can do we go to SE motion start all the component all the joints are converted so we select this align condition right click on it set joint input and we enable a rotation of say 150 degrees per second start simulation so as you can see we are rotating the pinion and rack is moving ok so in this tutorial we have seen how to define pitch diameter and the rack surface thanks for watching